So, this is another roof in Greenwich, Connecticut. Now, there's about three or four layers on here. And honestly, the roof was not leaking. The, they have so many leaks, but it's not, well, the roof is leaking, but it's not the torch down is leaking where they've torched before. They've been looking at the wrong places for the leaks. But I'm getting to do the roof again, regardless. I think they've patched maybe 10 times. One, eight, nine, ten. And they've created a, a, a pond here. So we're removing all this ponding water here because there's no way for the water to escape. But that's not why it's leaking. Every time, <laughs> every time they patch, they think they found the leak. They, they look at the wrong place. I'm going to show you where to look, what, what happened. Look here. See the water coming out? Look. Look at the water coming out there. Torch down is the best type of roof. But if it's not done right, any roof, doesn't matter, it's going to leak. Now, they have three or four layers of torch down here, and they still couldn't find the leak. It's because the torch down never went up the wall. Look. There's nothing up the wall here. This is paper. Cracking open. They just went to the bottom, and that's it. Let me explain. The parapet wall is part of a roof. You cannot stop with a roofing membrane at the bottom of a parapet wall. Parapet wall is part of the roof and that's where most leaks occurs because of the parapet wall and the flashing. So I started uh, making a water a releases for water ponding on this roof. There's almost no water sitting here. It rained last night. And you see I made a channel here. There's a channel on this area and I made it the drain lower. You can see water can get through here. There's a channel down there and a channel down there to the ponding areas. So this was ponding huge. There's another ponding area, big pond, water sitting here. So I've lowered the drain. You see the drain is lower here and a channel to this pond. So the walls has no torch down, it's paper. Everywhere, let me show you. Check this, this is, this is like open there, it's cracked open. And we're gonna cut through this to make a channel right to this drain. All right, so this is our second day. We built these channels yesterday uh, to uh, remove all the cooling water on this roof. But it worked very good. There was barely any water on this roof when we came this morning. It rained last night and uh, no after the rain. So now we're drying the roof and we are going to start torching. That's it. Take the wire. So we got started with our base. We're laying out the base. Um, and... <laughs> yeah. I didn't know that was... Okay, let me show you something about toys. So the base, you don't have to heat up a lot. But this is where you want to heat up and you want it to ooze out slightly there. You see the oozing out there? And I didn't make a video of how bad it was, but it's flashing on a wall. This is the most common place where water leaks and they had so many problems, so many people tried to fix it. But let me show you. So, here's a common issue. People, you can see people have silver coated this and they've tarred everything. But this, um, I brought my roof up to here and I brought my membrane all the way up here. I wish I showed you how bad the flashing was. I can show you somehow how it looked. It was something like this with tar and everything tarred over. So there was no way I, it was gonna take too much to undo everything and then and 
bring new flashing. I should really put a new flashing in there, but it's hard to put it once a second. So let me show you how easy I'm gonna fix this. So with all the tar and silver coating, this is not gonna, I, I don't wanna spend the time to put new metal flashing on the next here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a product called Turbo Poly Seal, this thing. And I'm gonna show you how quickly I can, here we go. So this is how easy I do flashing. Put my fleece and I'm done. Voila, this will never leak. But this is better than metal flashing with the same sand as the roof, but you don't have to do it, but that's what I do. That's it. And then I put some sand on it. It looks a little bit better. And this will never, never leak. Poly seal transition looks like after two years. You can see we covered with sand, but it looks very good after two years. All right, same here. You can see after two years. You can see it sticks to the brick. Very good. And the transition, excellent, excellent, excellent. We are almost done with this roof. And we did a two, uh, two membrane roof here. Made channels. <coughs> and it rained last night. You can see not much water on this roof where it used to be huge ponds here. You could uh, uh, you could breed some fish here. I think you could uh, keep some fish uh, aquatic system here. With that's how much water was on this roof. Anyway, huge leaks, but with all the channels we made, uh, you can see there's another channel right here, and water used to sit all over this area. So we finished. It used to be a four inch pond right here and this pond all over water is now oh there's almost no water on the roof and it's raining today it's raining right now a little bit drizzling but um you can see there's no water sitting here a few puddles the rule of thumb is if it can evaporate within 24 hours all the puddles then there's no it doesn't mean there's any water sitting that's the rule of thumb anyway this is not the prettiest job i've done but it is practical and it's done inexpensively and the uh, owner is happy and everybody's happy. No more water on the roof. So this is the end of it. Please subscribe and make comments if you want to. But critique is okay, but know all the facts before you criticize. You don't know how much money is involved, how much time is involved, and all the underlying agreements, okay? <laughs> this is it. We're done. Not pretty, but beautiful, but done good.